So more than a week ago, police say a student at the Laos Crouch Traditional Academy accidentally brought a loaded gun to that school. This is the second time this year this has happened in a Virginia school. And since then, again, more than a week ago, parents say they haven't heard anything new from the school district. So we sent our Matt Gregory to look into it. Throughout the day, I called the school district. I also called police and they have no new information to add. But there are several bills that have passed in Richmond to prevent incidents like this from happening. But will Governor Yunkin sign them into law? That's the question. The X's mark the finished days in March. I was shocked. I was terrified. But the first X also marks the day Silda Nikai's heart dropped. I was scared that something had happened to the kids. On March 1st, she sent her child to the Lyles Crouch Traditional Academy, an elementary school in Alexandria, Virginia. And in the afternoon, she got an email from the superintendent. The school had found a student had brought a gun to school and Alexandria police were actually called. From the investigation, police said the student brought the loaded gun by accident and that they and the school were investigating. That was 10 days ago. At this point, we know as much from what has happened as was initially provided on that first email. Silda says she's seen no updates from the investigation nor any new security measures from the school. There's certainly legislative fixes that could actually take place. She's right. Fairfax County State Senator Jennifer Boisco sponsored a bill on safe gun storage in the Virginia General Assembly. Require that anybody who has a child in the home or a prohibited person in the home who's not allowed to have a gun would have to lock them up. In a situation like the elementary school gun incident, the parent or guardian would face a fine. Boisco's bill passed the General Assembly. Now it's on Governor Yunkin's desk. He's been completely silent on issues like this. I am hopeful that he will sign it. I asked Governor Yunkin's team if he plans to sign it. They sent us a response that said Virginia has among the toughest gun laws in the nation already, and the governor's pursuing policies to hold criminals that commit crimes with guns accountable. And he's reviewing the legislation on his desk. You know, we are going around and saying, oh, thank God, nothing horrible happened. But back in Alexandria, Silda says for her children, that's not good enough. But the thing is that it could have happened. And it, since nothing has changed, it could happen again. A mother's frustration with what she sees as inaction on gun safety in Virginia. The governor has an April deadline to sign this and other legislation into law or veto it. We'll continue to follow the story. I'm Matt Gregory, WUSA 9.